Hi everyone, my name is Francine. I just bought the Vomo Portable uh, voiceover booth. Uh, yep, that's the train in the background. Give you a good idea of where I live. <laughs> um, this is my review of it. I have not gotten paid by them. I used my own money to buy this. It's uh, after taxes, I believe $419. Now I opted for the slowest um, shipping and it came in less than two days, but that's also because I'm in New York City and this shipped from Maryland, so it came super fast, but I have to say the company was very good with shipping it almost as soon as I paid for it. A few things, this came open like this downstairs and I got a notification from FedEx saying I'd have to sign. No one signed, they just left it in my lobby downstairs, um, which is okay, I'm okay with it. Um, but again, this came open, I'm not sure if this was Vomo's doing or FedEx is doing or someone in my apartment building who was like, oh, what did she get? Um, but so far the inside looks sealed. This box, there's still tape on it. So I think it's only the very outside box that's open. All right, so let's unpack this. All right, so when I looked at the video, I realized I shouldn't have unzipped these. So I just re-zipped this blue outside cover to the Vomo itself. Okay, apparently all you have to do is do this. Um, now I see I have to bring the um, support rods forward. Let me turn this. So support rods here. Let me slide it forward. Uh, please don't mind the trains. Uh, it's rush hour, so they're gonna run every two minutes, which will make this a very interesting test. All right, so I'm gonna pull, so I'm bringing these support rods right here forward so it can support the hood. And voila, that's all the stuff that came with it. Um, it's very, very easy to set up. Uh, let's do the isolation hood, okay. So here it is, also very easy, you just, uh, you look for these little clips here, I don't know if you can see them, but they're clippies. All right, I'm gonna clip here and clip here. And that concludes the setup. It's really easy to set up, I have to say. Way easier than I thought it would be. All right. This is now, I am using the Audio-Technica USB Plus Cardioid Condenser uh, with a mic sock that I got from VoiceOver to GoGo. -Go. Oh, here comes a train, good. Now you can hear what the room sounds like normally. Yeah, you can see why I need something. I have that and a firehouse right across, not across, around the corner. And there's a street right outside that constantly has cars. Okay, let's go inside. So I would like to add that um, this is an untreated room. Uh, and if I really wanted to get very clean sound, I really should cover the windows. I would probably get the sound panels. I don't have the money for it right now. Hopefully one day I will. Yeah, okay, let's get inside. Okay. Okay, um, it's quieter in here. I like how my voice sounds. I can still hear the trains in the background. And a car passing. Yep. So for me, I would try either a different part of the house. I am right next to the windows right now. 
Um, but that was part of my test. I wanted to see, you know, what this can do. Yep, that's a train passing now. So it's better, um, but I would still need to pause and redo my auditions or, or um, my voiceovers when such noises are present. And during rush hour, it's just, well, why bother? So I think I need to try this in another place. I don't know. This is probably not the solution for an apartment right next to the train. But it was a test. I don't know why I did all of that in there. Um, I hope for those of you living in really noisy cities, uh, I hope this helps you out. It is better. And I liked um, how I sounded in there. Um, but again, you could still hear the, the street, the, the street, the, <laughs> the cars out there, the trains. Um, so I would probably uh, just try a different location further away from all this. I need to make new friends. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, maybe. Oh, hello. So there it is. There's my review, and I hope this helps people who live in really noisy areas. Bye.